Hey everybody, welcome to Storytime. Today's story is Too Shy for Show and Tell. It is written by Beth Brecken and illustrated by Jennifer Bell. In this book, there is a boy who is too shy. He wants to share his favorite things with his friends at school, but he is afraid they will laugh at him. Have you ever felt shy? Let's read on and see what happens in our story. Sam was a quiet boy. Nobody knew much about him. Sam loved trucks, but nobody knew that. Sam's favorite food was chocolate cake, but nobody knew that. Sam thought dogs were the best animals in the world, but nobody knew that either. Do you agree that dogs are the best animals? The only thing that people knew about Sam was that he didn't talk much. And Sam didn't like talking in front of people, which is why Sam hated show and tell. Why do you think he doesn't like to talk in front of people? On Wednesday, Miss Emily told the class that show and tell would be on Friday. What would you want to bring to show and tell? Sam spent most of Thursday worrying. He had a great thing to bring for show and tell, but he was scared. On Friday, Sam didn't get out of bed. My tummy hurts, he lied. You're fine, and you need to go to school today, his mom said. At school, Sam told Miss Emily he'd forgotten about show and tell. I didn't bring anything, he said, but that wasn't true. His perfect show and tell thing was in his backpack. That's okay, Miss Emily said. You can just tell the class about the things you forgot at home. Do you think Sam will share his favorite thing with the class? Sam was terrified. He didn't want to talk in front of everyone. The thought of it made his tummy hurt really, really bad. He imagined that he'd say something dumb, or that he'd mess up his words, or that he'll faint, or that he'd cry. Sam watched the other kids show their show and tell things. David showed some socks that his grandma had knitted him. Everyone clapped when he was done. Helena showed a new doll she got for her birthday. Everyone clapped when she was done. Otto showed a cool leaf that he found on his way to school. He said weef instead of leaf, but nobody cares and everyone clapped when he was done. Then it was Sam's turn. He got his perfect show and tell thing out of his backpack and went to the front of the room. What do you have to show us today, Sam? Miss Emily asked with a smile. What do you think he brought to show and tell? Sam took a deep breath. He looked out at his classmates. They were quietly waiting. Sam held up his picture. This is my new dog, he said. I named him Chocolate because that's my favorite kind of cake and he's the color of chocolate cake. Sam didn't faint. He didn't throw up. He didn't cry. And no one laughed. Instead, everyone clapped when he was done. Now everyone in the class knew a little bit more about Sam. Next time, he thought, I'll bring my biggest truck. And he did. At first, Sam was too shy to share with his class, but then he was brave and he shared his favorite thing. I hope you all enjoyed this story. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.